the Piano Postulates. Giuseppe Piano, born in 1858 and died in 1932, was an Italian mathematician who devised a set of axioms that can be used to prove the existence of all the natural numbers and all of its usual properties. These are known as the Piano Postulates. Postulate 1. There is a number called 1. I know, I used the number 1 in that, but forgive me for that. Okay, how do you know that there's even a number? We have to assume that there's a number. We can't prove that there's a number 1 without anything. Postulate 2. Every number has a successor, a natural number that comes after it. So every number has a number that comes after it. Now you might think, well that should be enough, right? The number that comes after 1 is 2, the number that comes after 2 is 3, and so on. Oh, well, there could be problems. Postulate 3. The number 1 is not the successor of any natural number. You know, who knows? Maybe the number that came after 1 would be 1, and that there's only one number. No. 1 doesn't come after anything. Postulate 4. If two natural numbers are different, their successors are different. And postulate 5. Slightly more complicated. If we have a set of natural numbers that contains 1 and contains the number that comes after each one of its elements, then A is all the natural numbers. This is called the inductive axiom. It's a very powerful tool in mathematics. If you want to prove something, you can prove that it works for 1 and prove that every time it works for some number, it works for the number after it. That enables you to prove it for all the natural numbers. Incredibly powerful, way beyond the scope of this course. Postulate 1 says that the number 1 exists. Postulate 2 says that there's a successor to this number, usually written, you, you put a little prime mark to indicate the number that comes after something, usually written as 1 prime. Postulate 3 says that 1 prime is different from 1 because 1 is not the successor of something, so the successor of 1 can't be 1, and therefore the successor of 1 is different from 1. We call this number 2. 2 is the number that comes after 1. Okay, once we have the numbers 1 and 2, we look at the successor of 2, written 2 prime. By postulate 3, we know that 2 prime is not 1. 1 is not a successor of anything. By postulate 4, we know that because 1 and 2 are different, their successors, 1 prime and 2 prime, are different. Different numbers have different successors. Now, 1 prime is 2, so 2 prime has to be different from 2. That means that 2 prime is different from both 1 and 2. We have a whole new number. We call this 3. The number that comes after 2 is called 3. Now, in this long and very tedious fashion, we are able to define 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Postulate 5 tells us that if we have all these numbers, then we have all the natural numbers. There, there aren't any weird other numbers out there that also count as natural numbers. Now, this might be crazy, but think about it. We are able to set the basis for an infinite number of objects with just five assumptions, none of which are terribly complicated. Nice postulates, P&O.